Hi, I'm Akil, and this is a MIMO reporting for BBC School Report at Harris Academy, Merton. Our main topics today are Library Scheme, Horse Meat Scandal, World Book Day, and Faculty News. Our first topic is the new library scheme in Merton, which aims to make every school child in the borough a member of their local library. Now we, we will be handing over to Tariq Clark, who will be interviewing the librarians at our school. Now I will be interviewing the librarian, Miss Weir, about the library scheme. Being a librarian, how do you feel about the new library scheme? I think it's a wonderful idea. Anything that can encourage students from a young age to read has got to be good. Do you think people will make use of this library scheme? That's a difficult question, but I really hope they do. Thank you. Back to the studio. Our next topic is World Book Day, where we will be interviewing a number of English teachers. Over to you. I'm here in the English corridor to interview some English teachers about World Book Day. What does World Book Day mean to you? World Book Day is really important to me. I think it's really important for students to spend, even if it's just one day in the year, spend one day really thinking about books, really getting into the spirit of reading books and a book culture. So I think it's a nice day to be able to celebrate. Why did you pick this character? I picked this character, I picked Cinderella, because I always wanted to be a princess. And I can't be one in real life, but I can be through reading. So now I'm a princess today. It was very difficult because last year's one had such a good reaction so I had to think about something that's either on par or just as good and who doesn't know Disney, who doesn't know uh, 101 Dalmatians so I thought it was an obvious choice to carry on with the, the evil character tradition that, uh, that we have in this department. Back to the studio. Thirdly we'll be discussing the horse meat scandal so Ibad Siddiqui is with Mr Holden and Mr Housen who experienced this first hand. Well, I'm here with Mr. Holden and Mr. Housen. It is to my belief that you both ate meat was contaminated with horse meat at Pearlyway IKEA. Is that true? It certainly is. That's correct. So, Mr. Housen, did it taste nice? Yeah, I'd never experienced IKEA meatballs before, and I, I was very, very impressed. You think of IKEA as being a bit budget, but actually, they, for me, they taste like top notch meatballs. Really nice. Good chips, good gravy, lovely meal for me. What about you, Mr. Horden? Well, my experience is slightly different to Mr. Housen's. I had meatballs in IKEA about six years ago, and, and I loved them. And as you can imagine, I was very excited to get the opportunity to go back and have the meatballs again. But they didn't quite taste. They didn't quite taste right. They weren't as nice as they were the last time I was at IKEA, and I put it down to the gravy. And how did you feel knowing that the meatballs that you ate was contaminated? I don't really think of, I think there's contamination. It's just it says it doesn't say it's a beef ball. It says it's a meatball. Horse meat is meat. Back to the studio. Finally, here is the latest news with Ibad and Mr. Dobson. Thank you, Ibad. Now I'm here with Mr. Dobson to talk about any new Yellow news. Sir, so will there be any upcoming sports events for him? Certainly. Um, next week on Monday we have. Uh, fixture around Robin Sevens tournaments up on our Astro against Rutlish um, to get them in practice really for the uh, Harris Federation tournament over at Chatham. So what about the under 15s and under 16s basketball? The under 15s basketball I'm taking on the fixture for, to Richard Challenger, which is the semi final uh, actually on this Friday. Uh, the under 16s match is away against Coombe, um, also on this Friday, I believe. Yes, and back to the That's all for the sequel faculty edition of BBC School Report. Thank you for watching.